with camping season just around the corner. I wanted to give myself a freeze drying challenge today. I want to make my own freeze dried mountain house MRE meal for a fraction of the cost and a bit healthier. These are so convenient for backpacking trips, camping, any kind of traveling, whatever you do. Super easy to just add hot water to these and have a fresh ready made meal ready to go. I wanted to make my own and see how they turn out. I have never done this before. So I decided to make it a fun challenge to reduce the cost and to reduce the amount of extra ingredients that come in here that you don't really need. So come along with me as I head to Walmart and do some shopping where I show you the cost of these Mountain House MRE meals and the cost of the fresh ingredients that I am purchasing to do my own copycat at home version on a dime. Okay, I am in the camping section looking at all of the Mountain House MREs. The one that I wanted to try to recreate because I haven't done a breakfast meal on this channel yet was the breakfast skillet. So that is right here. And the cost is $9.97. This is the freeze dried breakfast skillet. And it shows you, it comes with two servings. So my goal is to recreate this on a similar budget, much more servings and healthier because these have a lot of additives that I just don't necessarily want to be eating. So let's go hit up the grocery department and see if we can find the ingredients to recreate this breakfast scramble. back home now here in my kitchen ready to pre-cook my breakfast skillet ingredients. You saw that the total of the Mountain House meal was $9.97. Comes in a two serving pack. So that comes to about $4.98 per serving. My goal is to dramatically decrease the cost per serving by doing my own MRE meals with my freeze dryer. So once it's all said and done, we will calculate the cost per serving of my homemade freeze dried meal. The total amount of dollars I spent on my fresh ingredients was $18 and something cents. I will check to be exact, but that is our total. Once I figure out how many servings I am going to end up having, we will be able to calculate the cost from there. The breakfast skillet, Mountain House meal had eggs, potatoes, sausage, onions, and peppers. So here is what I bought. I bought a dozen eggs. I bought, how big is this? Two pounds. Two pounds of sausage, two bags of hash brown potatoes that already had the onions and peppers in it. That was just an easy shortcut for me. So I had less cooking and chopping to do. This is it. No, I was shopping on a budget. You could get higher quality, organic, nicer ingredients. That would raise the cost a bit, but you would be knowing you would have more fresh, nice ingredients. I went for the cheapest. That's what we're doing today because this challenge is a budget challenge. I am going to cook the ingredients all separately and then combine them at the end. So I will show you my cooking process for the eggs, sausage and hash browns. I will do time-lapse videos of that and then show you where I mix it all together. I did cook the two bags of potatoes. I wanted to point out that I am cooking with as little oil and fats as possible, just so that there is not much grease on the food when it goes into the food dryer. So for the pork, I rinsed it 
and let it drain for a while and then patted it dry with a paper towel to remove any excess grease that is on there. Here's my mixture and I'm gonna load it onto my freeze dryer trays. I am not sure how far it's going to go, but we will find out. Okay, this actually all looks like it turned out perfectly for my four trays. I am going to take these downstairs to get them into the freeze dryer and I'll show you the settings that we're going to use. Okay, we're here at the freeze dryer. I am going to hit fast mode. These are the standard settings. I'm going to increase my extra dry time. I do this because if it happens to end in like the middle of the night or something, it'll just keep drying and drying for extra time is not gonna hurt your food. So that's why I do that, so that it's ready for when I wake up. I'm gonna hit start, or I mean save, then start. If you had just, whoa, if you had just turned on your freeze dryer, it's gonna ask, um, for a 15 minute cool down process, but since I just took something out of my freeze dryer and selected no defrost, it's still cold in there, so I can load up my trays now. Here we go, I am loading up the, my trays. And the last thing I gotta do is close the drain valve in there, there we go. Continue. And now we're freezing. For a faster freeze drying process, I could have pre-frozen these in my freezer before putting them in here. I didn't take the time to do that. We are just gonna do the whole thing. So I suspect that this will end sometime tomorrow. We will also do a taste test comparison to see which is better. That should be exciting. Before I go, I wanted to mention that I am a new affiliate with Harvest Right Freeze Dryers. If you are interested in being able to make your own mountain house style meals, for super cheap, check my affiliate link in the video description below. That is a unique shopping link through my name that will take you to the Harvest Right website and show you the types of freeze dryers they have, the accessories they sell. I do earn a small commission if you shop using my link and I appreciate anyone who does do that. It helps support me and my ability to keep making fun videos for you guys because this has been so much fun. I love trying new things and little challenges like this. If you have any challenges that you want me to do, any other like mountain house meal ideas that you wanna see me try to recreate, please let me know. Tell me in the comments if there's anything that you've wanted to see freeze dried or find out how it turns out. I will be happy to try it for you. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribing. You'll be able to see all the fun things I do around here and I think that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow with an update on the freeze dryer. Hi! Hello my friends, welcome back. It is the next day. My Mountain House copycat breakfast skillet meal in the freeze dryer is finished. So we are gonna pop this out, take a look and see how it turned out. For an update, this has been in the freeze dryer for 26 hours. I'm going to open my drain valve so that I can get the door open to check on these guys to make sure that they are dry. It is looking nice and dry to me. All right, I'm gonna pull these out. I 
I'm just going to tell my machine to defrost and now it will shut off. Here is all of our food. I want to package this up in small size serving. So I'm going to show you how I do that with a little hack that I have with my Harvest Right Mylar bags. To calculate how many servings I have, I'm going to use a measuring cup and pour them into a bowl as I just count out. I'm going to use a little over one cup as one serving. The Mountain House Meals says a cup and a quarter of the dry mixture is their serving size. So I'm going to do approximately that with mine, count them out, and then show you how I bag them up. I ended up with 14 servings. This is awesome. I was not even expecting to have that much. So fun. I am going to do my math calculations to find out the exact price per serving versus the price per serving of the Mountain House meal. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I will let you know all the grand totals and how budget friendly this MRE homemade style really is. But First, let's show you how you can package these up. I got a little helper here with me. This is Wesley. <laughs> I want to have these packaged up similar to how Mountain House packages them up in about two serving size pouches. My Harvest Right Mylar bags are pretty big. So I'm gonna try to see if this will work. I'm gonna cut it in half and put two servings on one side, two servings on the other. I'm just gonna heat seal the edge of it so that we get two bags, if that makes sense. I'm gonna try that out and I will let you know if it fits. So, this does not fit two servings. I didn't want to waste the bag, so I put one serving in. If you want to do single serving size meals for this, cut your Harvest Right bag in half, and this works just fine. I put an oxygen absorber inside and heat sealed it. But now let's see how many servings we can fit inside the regular size. the full size Harvest Right bags, I was able to fit four servings. So on my bag, I'm gonna write breakfast skillet, four servings, just so I know approximately how much is in here. But that works great. I put in two oxygen absorbers in here, sealed it. That's gonna be shelf stable for many years. This is awesome. I'm gonna get the rest packaged up. The one that I'm gonna reconstitute for our taste test is gonna go in this jar here. So I will meet you as soon as I'm done with this for the taste test. I am here to do our comparison test. I've actually never even had this. So the Mountain House directions say to tear package, open, add one and a quarter cups of boiling water. Remove the oxygen absorber. Here's my hot water. I'm pouring it directly in. And now stir. It says to close the zipper. Wait five minutes, stir again. For my homemade one, this is two servings, this is one. So I'm doing half the amount of water that this one called for. but I'm gonna follow the same instructions. I'm going to stir. This is so fun. I've never done anything like this before. So it'll be fun to see. Okay, close this lid up. Wait five minutes. It has been five minutes. The instructions tell us to stir again and reseal for four more minutes. All right, are we ready to do the taste test? I'm gonna try the Mountain House first. Here is 
picture of how it looks. They do have shredded potatoes in here, and in mine I used diced potatoes, so that's the only main difference. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try. Sorry, I hate eating on camera. It's like the worst. So I apologize for eating and annoying sounds, but. Let me give you my thoughts. First impressions. This tastes much better than I expected it to. I don't know, I just expected it to be more like mushy, not very flavorful, but this actually tastes pretty good. I've never done these camping meals before. If you're someone who camps a lot and uses these, then you're kind of similar with how they taste, the texture, that sort of thing. I am pretty impressed, and this is a decent amount of food. This could def, I mean, it says two servings. It definitely could fill up two people, I would say. So, good, but still expensive. Let's get to trying mine. You can see the difference of mine has diced potatoes, but everything else is fairly similar. This was definitely so good. Equal, if not better, to the flavor. Um, the freshness tastes super fresh. I mean, you definitely can see that like you end up with some liquid at the bottom in both of them because it didn't completely fully absorbed. So I would maybe even do a little less water than what the package says. But you also still want everything to fully rehydrate so it's not crunchy or anything like that. I prefer mine. Of course I'm gonna prefer mine. This is still good. But now, let's talk about the price. I'm 100% gonna go with mine because you can't beat that price. Let me break it down for you. Okay, I don't think you're gonna believe what the grand total is. I am impressed. So the Mountain House meal, if you remember, the total was like $9.97 for two servings, so that came out to $4.98 per serving. My homemade Mountain House meal came out to $1.31 per serving. That's huge. That's like a fraction of the price of the Mountain House meal. So when people complain that freeze dryers are expensive. Yes, I totally understand that it's a huge investment. But if you look at it like this, at how much you really can save if you utilize it correctly. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Kind of did something a little different and it was so much fun. If you liked it, hit that like button. Leave me a comment if your thought of any thoughts that you have about it, any questions. If there's any specific mountain house meals that you love that you want to see me recreate, let me know. I'd be happy to try it out. I will catch you guys later. Make sure you're subscribing so you, I can keep you up to date on all my freeze drying tips and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.